The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Thomas called Didymus one of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear friends, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Gregory the Great, in the Office of Readings today, speaks about the beauty of the faith of St. Thomas the Apostle, the Apostle who doubted the resurrection. It is a gift, wonderful gift, mystery that the Lord allowed to happen so that through St. Thomas, we who have not seen will believe for thomas it was directly he did not he knew that jesus christ died on the cross he could not believe that he had risen from the dead unless i see the wounds i touch my hand i touch I, my his side i will not believe he said in the gospel when Jesus appears, that octave of Easter, and he calls Thomas to try to touch him, the response of Thomas was, My Lord and my God. And that, that, that prayer of St. Thomas has stuck in the Christian consciousness, in our Catholic faith and prayers. And we pronounce it particularly when the Blessed Sacrament during the Holy Mass is raised, when the priest says, this is my body in the elevation, in our hearts we say, Lord, we see bread. We see bread and yet we believe it is you. So we say, with Thomas, my Lord and my God. The priest elevates the chalice. We see it's a chalice, it contains wine. And yet we know in faith that that wine has now been transformed into the blood of Christ. And so we also pray, my Lord and my God. I'd like to look therefore at St. Uh, at St. Uh, Thomas the Apostle as a great uh, Apostle of the Holy Eucharist. And incidentally, this month of the July, the Holy Father has made it as our intention for July, this month of July being known also as the month of the most precious blood of Jesus. The intention of the Holy Father, he says, for a Eucharistic life, we pray that Catholics may place the celebration of the Eucharist at the heart of their lives, transforming human relationships in a very deep way and opening to the encounter with God 
and all their brothers and sisters. Our Holy Father wants us to make the celebration of the Eucharist the heart of our Christian lives. And we know the importance of a heart in our bodies. Pag hindi malusog yung puso, naku, problema, ano? We always want to have our hearts healthy. And so when the Holy Father says that the Eucharist is the heart of Christian life, we are most healthy only when we, are, we, when we frequent the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Mass, and receive the body of Christ at communion. We know the importance, we have known, we have come to know of the significance and importance ang kalagahan ng Holy Mass during the COVID nung hindi tayo makapagmisa, no? Hindi tayo makapunta sa simbahan. I remember one of my saddest moments during the COVID times was I would be saying mass walang congregation. Di ba, Father, no? Nagmimisa tayo because we could not give up say, saying the mass. Kahit walang congregation, si Father, ang mga pare, celebrated the mass at malungkot nga naman kami because walang congregation. Because we know, and in our Christian practice, this is the one celebration we simply have to have practical every day. Every day. Very much like the early Christians had said, we cannot live without the Holy Mass. Okay? The Mass is so central in our lives. So Saint, our Holy Father now invites us to put the Eucharist at the center of our lives. And he mentions two, two things that will happen or, or that should transpire during our attendance of the Holy Mass and reception of the Holy Eucharist. He, sp he speaks about that we will come to a deeper relationship with God. How does this happen? Well, when you receive the body of Christ, you, already, you become already a tabernacle of the Eucharist. Can you imagine? The Almighty God chooses to live with each and every one of us who receive the body of Christ. We become tabernacles of the Holy Eucharist. Of course, it is our standard practice pag we, we are in church and makita natin may tabernacle. Pag ikaw ay dumaan dyan, aba, nag-genuflect ka. E say, alam, kasi alam mo, sa tabernacle na yan, nandyan si Lord. So you genuflect. Now, when you have received communion, dear sister, aba, you also have become a tabernacle. And that is why the Holy Father tells as part of his is intention this Eucharist that we receive must transform us must transform our relationships so that we then recognize that because this brother this sister of mine has become a tabernacle of the Eucharist nung siya nag communion aba kailangan igagalang ko din siya so we then become more the transformation that the Holy Father wants of us is that we can mo, become more respectful of one another. I now no longer look at anybody as simply another human being. No. I must begin to look at every human person that I meet as another quote unquote tabernacle or in the words of Saint Paul temple of the Holy Spirit. Kaya this is the intention of the Holy Father. Tamang-tama sa fiesta ni Saint Thomas the Apostle. The one who has taught us that whenever we see the Blessed Sacrament elevate, elevated or exposed, we always have to pray, My Lord and my God. Amen. Please all stand. On the seventh day of our novena, we meditate, first of all, on the 
devotion of Santa Maria Goretti to the Eucharist. As Bishop Rene said, devotion to the Eucharist is so important in our Christian life. And Santa Maria Goretti also spent her days with so much devotion and love for, the, for Jesus in the Eucharist. On the seventh day of our novena, and as we offer the tenth flower of pardon, we pray for those who are going through a spiritual desert and crisis of faith because of the never-ending problems in life. Like St. Thomas in the Gospel, we also doubt God's love and God's presence. So we pray together. I offer you, Lord, this flower of pardon for those who are going through a spiritual desert and crisis of faith because of the never-ending problems in life. Stay with them in their doubts and periods of spiritual darkness. Open their eyes to your light and hope. Touch their hearts that they may feel your loving presence. Give them courage in the midst of their physical sickness, emotional and spiritual struggles. Through the intercession of Santa Maria Goretti, may they never doubt your fidelity and mercy. May your wounded side be our strength and refuge. Amen. Before Bishop gives us the final blessing, let us uh, show our gratitude to Bishop Rene Mayugba with a warm round of applause. Thank you. Bishop Rene is the Bishop of uh, the Diocese of Lawag in Ilocos Norte and they will be having a Bishop's Meeting in Calibo this week. Cardinal Joe was with us yesterday and he also told us that he will be going to the, the meeting of the Bishop. So let us make this as our intention also. We pray for our bishops, for their safe travel, and also for their meeting that they have some very important matters to decide on. So we pray for the Holy Spirit to be given to them also. And I would like to remind everyone, this Thursday, July 6, will be our parish fiesta, 7 a.m. and 12.15. Unfortunately, Bishop cannot be with us, but uh, don't worry, Bishop. We will, uh, ikakain na lang po namin kayo. No? Uh, so I invite you uh, to come for our parish fiesta and also after the mass we will have our flower offering for our patron saint Santa Maria Goretti once again Bishop Rene thank you so much he, he is a dear friend of our parish and we are so grateful and father and the congregation may ask your special prayers on the feast of uh, your patron uh, Maria Goretti because on that day I will be trying to propose uh, the process for this san uh, san uh, sanctification or a san uh, cause for sanctity of one of our parishioners way back who died 1993, who was just as old as Maria Goretti, a little, who we call her Nina, and this Nina was such a devotee to the Holy Eucharist, and I hope she can be also enshrined one day as a, one of our saints, a Filipino child by name Nina. Kaya on that feast, paki include that intention. Yes, Bishop, yeah. we will pray for that. Uh, a young saint, a young hope to hopefully, hopefully to become a saint. And also for this month of July, to make the intention of the Holy Father for, for the Eucharist as the life of the church. Try to find time during this month to, or to, to, to kneel before, if you have a adoration, benediction and adoration, adoration and benediction, or a simple visit to the Blessed Sacrament every so often, just to show that indeed, gusto mo na ang Eucharist is the heart of your Christian life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass has been offered. Thanks be to God.